Hello everyone and welcome to another Momilani Minecraft EDU project video. I'm your host once again, Mr. A. If you look at the bottom of your screen right now, you will see map details including a link to download the map. This is one video in a new series where I will be featuring maps I have created and used in a class over the past year. This was one of the very first maps I used with my students. There have been many changes to it and I'm sure there will be many more. In this map, students explore and discover the quests around the island. The quests will require students to find and read information blocks, complete any calculations in journals, and then use the EC answer system to select the answer. Students will need to answer the questions in order. This map can be played either in survival or Minecraft EDU mode. Survival mode adds almost an internal timer to the map. Students don't have time to waste because they're getting hungry. but I have heard rumor of hunters around the island you can seek out for food, so exploring is essential. I added another twist to the map by allowing night and day. There is enough light to find your way around in the dark, and torches can act as a hint once night comes. So with all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the features of this map. This feature of the map is a huge ring of border blocks. What it does is it provides the students with the feel of having complete freedom and reign of this entire island. They can run wherever they want to, do whatever they want to, and that is true. What they cannot do is actually pass that to go beyond those borders. And that provides me the security that the students are in the area I want them working in. No doubt if you're familiar with my maps, or if you've just been paying attention, you've noticed these things in the distance. They're blue, they're information blocks. They come with Minecraft EDU. That's an information sign. This is an information block. I use these blocks for my questions on my map, but also for information that's important. So let's right click on it and notice this one isn't a question, but tells me that decimals in this map are written in the form of money. Money utilizes tenths and hundredths place value. This is a great way to get a lot of information across to students. You can change pages, as many pages as you want, and put more information in there. Here we have another feature of this map, the treehouse store. Kids will climb up these vines, they work just like ladders, and they'll come into the store. The questions in this map will require them to visit the store multiple times. What you see is items and a price attached to each item. The prices are in decimals, sorry, whole numbers and decimals. Okay, what we have here is the start point of the map. Now, I've gone ahead and done a video already about the features of the start point of my maps. They're all the same in every map. What I'm going to focus on here is the command block system and the scoreboard. So, what I've done is this one here says reset all players. So, if I were to step on that pressure plate, it would reset all the player scores. This next section, set objectives correct and answered. So if you were to able for somehow were able to delete the objectives, you could click that and reset them. Then this last section is to set display answered and correct. I typically will not show the set display correct when students are in the map because what that does is actually show how many, which students got which ones correct or how many correct. I'll typically stick on answered. So let's go ahead and click answered. All right. I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and take the quiz and we'll talk about what these answered and correct do when I get back. Alright, I'm back. I didn't do as well as I'd hoped. Well, I didn't get perfect. But, I'll show you what I did do. So, you notice that I now have two, two items in my inventory slot. Chicken and zombie brains. That's another indicator of whether or not I've got the questions correct. Correct answers will get two chicken pieces, uh, cooked chicken pieces, and incorrect answers will get a piece of zombie brain. Both will keep you alive, but one is way more effective than the other. What you can see here is I've pressing the tab button, and you're seeing that Mr. A has answered three questions. If I let go of the tab button, I come over here, I'm going to actually press correct. Okay? All right. You'll see now, when I hit the tab button, it says I got two correct. So my score is two out of three for this map. That's one way that I score this, and that's one of the features uh, of the EC answer system combined with the scoreboard system. 
Okay, what we have here is an example of the EC answer system. Now, this is something developed by the Edu crew. What we did was we wanted a way to provide a multiple choice answer system within the game that we could use to track scores. I have not used this in all of my maps, but I have used it in quite a few. So, let's go ahead and see how this works. Student will come across to question number one. They will stand on that green block. Because they currently have no score, the door will open for them. When they go in, the door will close. Nobody else can get in here now until the student has picked one of their four choices. So, I'm just going to randomly back into a choice because I don't want anybody going back to the video and trying to figure out what the answer is. Now, I picked an answer and it booted me out here, okay? Now I can continue on with my, my exploration. Now, I just so happened, you see in the bottom corner where it said I got it incorrect, and it gave me one rotten flesh. So when I hit my EC answer system, I hit my tab key, you'll notice that I have zero correct because I'm looking at correct right now. If I had answered, it would say one. The EC answer system is a great way of implementing a multiple choice test within a Minecraft map. For anybody using this map who might have issues where, for instance, the door is not opening, these gold blocks here provide you a spot where there's and there's a switch under there. The biggest problem we've had so far is trying to figure out how to get the switch. Sometimes it turns itself off. So if you just go into build mode and come over here and flick this switch on and then fly out again, the map will work just as it's intended. As always, I'd like to thank you for visiting. Please subscribe to get updates when I release more videos and leave me a like or a comment about the map. Thank you. Thank you.